All right, all right, all right. Let's return once again to Terror from the Deep, where we are heading into a an island terror attack by the Killman. We haven't had these in a while, and we haven't had a night mission in a while. So let's see how these go now that we are um, now that we are later in the game and we have all the all the tools with us like uh, like mind control we still won't be seeing a thing without the light so they are they are the key just priming my grenades here the small grenades that is and uh, let's go Let's go see what the island attack looks like. Looks like this is the northern edge here. We are not quite in the northern edge, but almost. Uh, the edge is here. Okay. I don't think I had any blaster launchers equipped because they don't work here. Yeah. Let's see if we see something. We don't. This is always always the danger because there might be um, there might be someone there who shoots us, even that we don't see them. But uh, let's see. So uh, no reaction fire from there. It's good. So looks like there's no one there. I think I will take the tank out and eat a shot. No reactions from that. Scary. Nothing there. Nothing there. I don't usually go out on the turn one, but uh, because uh, things have been going relatively well, I uh, decided to take the risk. Oh shit! Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a deep one. <laughs> it's it still scares the crap out of you when it happens. I don't even know where that guy is. What the hell? How many floors is that? Three floors. It's on some sort of a some sort of a balcony there. Okay, let's take that to our side now. Jeez. Uh, Munag Munagas is... Um, Munagas has been lucky today. Munagas has been very lucky today. He survived a triple melee attack from uh, from a lobster man. Oh, look at that. I have, I have actually not seen the civilians because they have all been killed in the first turn in the previous fights. <laughs> This guy is here just uh, just in the terrace like doom de doom doom doom. Oh, there's another deep one there. Okay, here we go. Can we actually save like a good chunk of civilians this time? 
there's a little bit of chance we, are, we might actually save some of these uh, some of these vacationing uh, some of these vacationing um, guys here. There's quite many of them already in control. Oh, good, good shot, Mr. Killman. And more. <laughs> this is actually quite a lot of fun. Compared to the previous, instead of them hiding in these stupid bunkers, I get them b before they even go there. I'm liking this. And them using their own time units to... Whoa! Look at this skill, man! He almost had us. I would have not... L I would have considered that area safe. What a sneaky spawn. What a sneaky spawn. Well played. Jeez. Good job, Mr. Killman. We are getting quite quite many of them in our control. Yeah, I couldn't get that one. Damn shit. Let me see. So we have a couple of couple of guys up here. of guys up here. If we kill the deep ones, then uh, everyone will be safe after that. So I think it's worth it to uh, try to blast this one. Oh, there's one there as well. Okay. Actually, might be able to do that grenade myself to get the kills for our, our guys. Okay, let's eat some reaction shots here. Oh, there's it. There's a guy there as well. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, they are all over the place. All over the place. Okay, let's see what kind of grenades we can throw. Did I use all my mind controls already? I did. This guy shot already. This guy, we dropped stuff. This guy's here, we shot. This guy has a grenade that we can throw. Here. Can we do it without killing this guy, maybe? Uh, let's take the tank forward. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's take, um... Okay, you have quite a lot of points. So what you could do, but you don't have, you don't have grenades. You don't have grenades. Do I not have any grenades? Okay, you have grenade. So you can prime that. 
and prime that and then uh, you could give it to give it to uh, what's up there so it's prime right yep so you go you go here drop it you hide in there pick it up go here here and let's throw it all the way all the way like here should kill them not sure I don't have another grenade so I will throw this one Put this one on this guy Then we move you a little bit here, okay. I could throw another grenade with you, but I think I have them all, so these guys might die to the grenade. Uh, then we have that guy, and we have this guy here, okay. So it's still... let's see, let's take a grenade. No, not that, damn it. Okay, fine. <laughs> I, was, I actually wanted to throw that, but anyway. Let's go eat some rea reaction shots from here. We'll find with those misses. Why don't why don't those guys ever miss their shots when uh, when they are reaction firing me? When when was the last time they actually missed? Uh, Missed anything when they uh, when they were shooting us. Okay, that was pretty good third one, I'd say. I'm a okay with that. So let's uh, let's recap. Uh, kill man controlled one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one guy here dead. These guys will probably die. So if these guys die, that's five deep ones dead in the first turn, and uh, six kill man in my control. There's still probably plenty, plenty more, even with that. But let's see. Let's see how many of these guys die first. Those all died, but uh, the single one didn't die. Yes, shoot the kill men and not civilians. No, a civilian died. There was even more guys in the bunker. What the hell? Can you use molecular controls on civilians to move them out of the way? Uh, you can, but uh, they will turn hostile when they come out of that. There was even more guys here in the bunker. You that I controlled two here. There was more. Okay, so this guy here is alive. I think these guys died. Uh, there was a deep one somewhere in there who killed one civilian. Uh, let's start by let's start by taking these guys. It's one for hail raid, frosted fire. Okay, good one success. That's good, Christian. Okay, so that's the lesser skilled ones. Then uh, let's take you for sure. Take you for sure. And then uh, this deep one somewhere in here, right there, okay. One more. 
the sky. So there are you. So this guy. This guy, let's bring him to the slaughter. Let's use one of these guys to check this stupid stupid thing one more time. Actually, I should have not picked up this guy because this guy has so many. So much everything. Let's bring you back. Let's bring let's get the naked guy. And just go just go check that there's no one here anymore. Okay, now it's empty. This guy's naked, same thing. And yes, these were very fun to check without mind control. <laughs> In the, when we were here last time. Okay, this this one guy here I actually should have gone for. Kind of missed a chance now. Um What's up, bro? Should be close. Lights. Why do kill men not have beards? I don't know, they do have ass cracks. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's why they don't have the beards. I don't know. They use gillette. <laughs> they use gillette. Makes sense. Uh, I was expecting to catch someone there, but I but I didn't. They used to do they use the chillette in the ass crack as well? Wonder. Mm. Hey, there you are. points for that so my tank might be taking a little bit of beating 
not much I can do about it right now. Apart from... Did I use everyone already? I should have thrown a light there first, that was uh... It's a little bit dumb not to throw it. Utter ten. So there's two there's two killmen here. They are not of danger, but they will kind of wander around there uh, after the next turn. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on this direction. Uh, but we know they are harmless. This guy will shoot my tank, which is actually not ideal at all. But I kind of I failed up a little bit with that because I didn't. Uh, I didn't throw a light there first. This guy should now die to a grenade, this guy. Yep. That guy's going away. Went to kill a civilian there. Missed. Whoa! Stun bomb! A lot of whole lot of dead ones there and okay we need the guy in the back now so let's get him taken care of first so you have not disarmed that one and then uh, do you see the other guy in the upstairs no man there's so many guys here so many guys there was some uh some action Jackson going on and there was there was a guy here who stunned these guys. Alright, we do need to kill that guy. grenades make him dangerous. Now he's harmless. So there's still two guys walking in here. So let's turn you facing that way and we will see them next turn. Then um, with these guys we drop them to make them harmless. Same thing with you. We saw, uh, we saw a deep one somewhere in there doing things. There's one of our friends. One civilian there. Still see the same guy. Let's get him. Interesting that they bring a stun bomber to uh okay, there might be someone here actually. Or it might be hiding behind those things, I'm not sure. Uh, you don't have grenades. Let's go there, if the, if the deep one is there, it will shoot that guy. Mm. Yeah, I think there's a deep one hiding in that corner. And we could somehow see the one who's here. Why do we do that? From here. Risky, risky. There you are. 
Gut. Take you. Even that you have a stun bone, you also had a grenade, and there's a deep one up here. Okay, there you are, very good. Let's try with the frosted fire once. Let's try with these guys. guy is dangerous because he doesn't have uh, doesn't need a weapon so let's put you there shoot you next turn and then uh, the tank Okay, tank, tank can't actually go to this fenced area because this is the topmost area and I can't go higher. It's pretty interesting. There's, uh, there's one there we didn't get yet. I think for the most part we did. Unless I... Did I forget someone here? I don't think I did because those guys are unconscious. Okay, I think there's... The killmen are harmless. Yeah, that guy's naked. Okay, there's the deep one there. Kill the civilian, sadly. No! I forgot one in the smoke with a melee weapon. <laughs> RIP! There's so, there were so many! There were so many I forgot! I forgot! Fuck! Fucking smoke. <laughs> Uh, I'm kinda okay that it was if if someone it could have been worse. This guy could have used grenades. It, this guy could have used a whole lot of things. So that could have been uh that could have been pretty bad. Can I can I hit a bit of melee through this one? Yes I can, good job. Who is this guy? <laughs> and who who sees him? What? Who, who saw this guy? I don't know, that's weird. I'm... If, if anyone, I am, I am happy it was one of our, one of our decoys. And, uh... That's, uh... From, from that was like, that was okay. Okay results. Okay, so did I strip these guys already? I think I did. Let's see, let's see. So you used already. I thought they were all stunned there, but I, I did leave one guy there. And that's, that's why you always disarm them. That's why you always disarm them to, as soon as you, uh, as soon as you can. There was a guy here. Bang. 
Ooh, just enough points to catch that guy. Man, so many, so many units. So many. Anyone else in the smoke? <laughs> I hope not. Pretty sure I have everyone, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> in in this one, I just I just didn't bother keeping track. Keeping track, but I think I have disarmed anyone, and uh, these guys are just here in the bunkers doing doing stuff. But uh, let's see. Yeah, that guy's naked. Nope, there's still guys there. Still guys there. Okay. Let's start doing start doing some work here. Thanks for not hitting that civilian I totally missed was there. Job. I dropped the grenades already inside. Okay, so this guy can actually take care of uh, take care of some guys. I think Monaka should uh, kill. So let's first do let's take control of this guy. Turn him around. So we see all of those guys. Then can you throw the grenade on top of these guys? No. Pretty good throw, but I don't 100% trust that shot. And hopefully have reaction shots towards those guys in there. Just in case these guys don't die, I will take them to my side. And there was one killman still there, I forgot. Okay, hopefully one of these uh, lesser, lesser skilled ones can take that guy, probably not. Alright, there was still the guy here who we uh, have to worry about and we, uh, we don't have him. Unfortunate. It's like this is this is not happening. So let's do. Not 
not sure if those are heating or not. <laughs> are they resistant to this or is that guy just just nope, I don't care about your I don't care about your spits. Let's take this guy up here. Block some shots if the guy comes up uh, up from there. Mm. This guy. Okay, that's fine. Let's drop this one in case I forget you. Mm. door was open, so the guy was here somewhere. Hmm. Don't really like that. Might be actually you come you come to this side. Kneel. Kneel as well. The one upstairs might actually shoot Munagas. Not great. Let's see if the if the deep ones die to the grenade. One of them. I think he's actually in this level. Uh, okay, let's kill... Actually, no, let's not kill that one. Let's try to control this one. When we do, we see the deep one. Let's take that one, it's a little bit more challenging with you. One... Two... Three... You are. The last of the killmen. here in the smoke. Didn't. Let's bring this guy close. Hey, Monogas! Yes, you did. Yes, you did make it. And, um... In case you do, do catch the vote at some point, or even if you don't, you have been one of the luckiest, <laughs> luckiest XCOM soldiers ever. Surviving, um... Surviving maybe free time melee attack from a lobster man without damage. Okay, are we are we missing no I think we are missing the guy here. Yeah we are missing that guy. So let's uh let's walk him here as well. And then we have the naked guys in the bunker. It's, it sounds like uh, some sort of alternative metal album. <laughs> I don't know why it's metal, but I don't know. Naked guys in a bunker. I guess it could be something else than metal. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we have all the ones who, who uh, have weapons.
What's the verdict on these aliens? Guilty as charged? I appreciate the effort on the pun. Lumber, how are you doing? Seven months. Cheers. But yeah, those uh, those joining here at the end of the stream or towards the end of the stream, uh, I did four and a half hour Alien Colony Part Two. That's that's what we have been doing today. That was, uh, that was a little bit exhausting, but uh, on the other hand, uh, oh, actually I have the guy here, we need, we need him. This this mission we did lose was up. Unfortunately. Uh, two commanders. So yes, yes we did. We had a navigator and commander, but then we found another commander as well. And we didn't lose anyone in the second part, so that was uh, that was good. Oh, Munagas, what what did you just do? Why did you, why did you just miss that shot? Okay, I guess those guys felt like we still need more practice with our uh, psionics. Three in a row, good job. I think this is all. There might be one here, I'm not sure. There is someone somewhere. Did I, did I leave one guy? Oh, I left one guy here, didn't I? Decided. Uh, There's one walking, walking in there. So let's try to uh, try to catch that. Sir, <laughs> could you could you could you move, please, sir, sir?
There was a guy with the weapon in the bunker! How many guys can there be in these freaking bunkers? Here I am. Oh, this is safe. There's no one anywhere. Jesus. There's probably some here. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this, these island visions are the worst. These are the worst, like, what the hell? Every single time. Oh, wow. I was like, oh, they must be in here. And then all of a sudden, I was, I thought there was somebody in this room. And then all of a sudden, there's one guy here. Okay, maybe that was the guy moving then. Let's go check the, let's go check the other bunker. So the bunker is here somewhere. I don't even remember. I probably need lights for that. In in before we get some sort of a uh, some sort of a uh, no. What did I just do? No, I wanted to do this. There's probably a Killman playing Super Metroid on the SNES in one of those rooms. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm, I hope all they have equipped is uh, is uh, SNES and uh, not uh, not Sonic Cannon. Or worse. I think the door sounds were coming from this civilian here. But based on the based on the tracking there, like oh, but there, there's only this bunker. Okay, let's uh, let's come and check this. This side here. Yeah, there's no one there. And uh, let's take you. Well, this guy is now here. We know he's there. And uh, there might be there might be a killman here who has not come out. If they are, they are naked. Yeah, I don't think there is. Oh wow. Okay, there was one in the back, but that guy's naked. I don't remember when I left him there, but uh, that explains things. There were so many of them that I just uh, I just lost uh, lost track of them. Okay, so now this guy here is probably the last. Okay, I think he came out of the bunker, so that's perfect. Luckily he did. Even if it's a absolute incredible start, I just mind controlled everyone and killed uh, killed like four deep ones and such. Even after that, this was a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, this is the last guy. And of course, there are some civilians who find the perfect position <laughs> to block that I don't don't want to take any shots right now. They are so good at that.
I was still only able to save three civilians. Even that I, I controlled, controlled like 16 aliens on the first turn. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, okay, there were only only eight of them to begin with. Okay, sure. That's a good skill gain. Plus freeze on the accuracies. Plus f plus six five four here. All time units for all the psionics. Beautiful. Very good. Very nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I forgot uh, one squad leader with the melee weapon in the smoke. I'm sorry, what's up? Rest in peace. Most of them had cannons on that mission. Oh, we can start expanding India soon. We actually finally get uh, get the radar there as well. We are still preparing Manta 1 from the from the Dreadnought assault that was ages ago. Uh, we've had we had one we had one intact UFO plus Serpite from the colony and. I think I even got Serpite from a couple of the shot ones, shot down ones. So, uh, the temporary critical situation with Serpite was very much, uh, very much taken care of. Even that uh, there has been like a lot of hours, six and a half hours to be exact, we've actually only only gone for like a couple of days here. Couple of days here uh, today. So uh, should I transfer one of these mandas actually now to uh, South Pacific? I should, right? Yeah, I should. Ah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Hey, Pico, how you doing? Welcome, Raiders. Ooh, what is Naraka Blade Point? I have not played that. Sounds sounds nice. I was I was, I was expecting you guys to come from XCOM, XCOM to XCOM, but I am here playing Terra from the Deep. Hey, Kroger. So I'm I'm here playing Terra from the D for the first time, playing on the hardest difficulty, on the superhuman difficulty, and today was a great day because I did my first alien colony. And uh, we are very much in the end game because I got, uh, got the lobster commanders. We need it. Um, yeah, if... Uh, if those coming from the raid, if you don't know me, I am Zemolf. Been doing a lot of lot of YouTube videos for ten plus years. 
streaming here on Twitch uh, three or four days a week, playing a lot of turn-based tactics games. For the past month and a half, playing these original XCOMs. And uh, I have not played these before. I did play the first one in the 90s, but I never finished it, and this is the first time playing this ever. Even that I have like thousand plus something hours on the new XCOMs. So yeah, welcome. Welcome to all of you, and um, let's... Uh, I was planning on moving... Moving one of the Mantas here. Yes, that's what I was planning to do. Do I, do I have some Zerobite there already? No, so let's move that at the same time. So let's transfer to South Pacific. Let's transfer Manta free. Let's put some Zerobite there. Not much, but just little. So then we can actually start building another Manta here. South Pacific will take a long time before states they start manufacturing anything. I did forget to order order the soldiers for the medicine. All oh, right, no, no, no. I'm waiting for this one before I get the soldiers. Naraga Blade Point is like XCOM, but Battle Royale with Far East setting with martial arts and stuff. <laughs> okay, so not really like XCOM. <laughs> okay, okay. Sure. Is it like actual Battle Royale, or is, is it is it turn-based tactics Battle Royale? Then I'm interested. I'm, I'm not big into, into any kind of real-time games. Some, of course, but... Uh, I... I do, I do like to, that I can just uh, look at the screen and think what I'm doing without any sort, any sort of rush. Okay, so uh, uh, I could go for those missions. Could go for, could go for these missions, but I really don't need to. So I think I will just let them be. Let's see if we could get that. Um, if you would get that Lobster Man Navigator research done, and there it is. There it is. There it is, and we get the final research. Well, not, not the final research, but kind of uh, actually proceed with... Uh, actually proceed with the story. There we go, there's finally finally one of the radars. So I think we have like full coverage now. Yeah, we are missing we are missing this slot here. This this uh this one and there's a little bit of gap there, but we can't really fill those. We do have the oh wait a minute, there's North America. We do have an Arctic area covered. Arctic area covered. We have Antarctica. Well, actually, we don't have. We, we could build one here, just for the just for the heck of it, because we have Monis. I think it's the only one, only place where I don't have coverage. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's fill this stupid stupid glass here. So if we just put one here, then we have uh, more or less world coverage. Can I can I make it count as uh, Antarctica somehow? I don't even know why I build general stores there, but uh, we have we have so much money that it just doesn't matter. And, uh, those are just basically radar stations, just in case this game actually takes a long time. I don't know how long it takes to build the final final ship and do the researches. 
But yeah, speaking of slow, I, I did do did do four and a half hours on the second part of the alien colony alone. But that was my first time, so that was uh, really just a little bit slower than I usually do. But that was uh, that was tedious, like brain brain melting tedious. Okay, that's good. Now we have the manta here. Oh, hello. Not see. They are looking for my pace, but uh, I don't have a pace there. Why? Why are you going to not see? Okay, I will save here just in case because if we get a pace defense, then I do have to call it tonight. I don't really want to do a mission anymore. That's not. That's not not see. Yeah, there was a... Uh, we didn't... No one died in the colony assault. That was very... I was I was willing to sacrifice everyone for those two commanders. But we didn't have to. We actually didn't lose anyone in the whole assault. Apart from uh, the first... Um, first attempt there. When we lost rested bandits there in the... In the first attempt on that colony. And that was friendly fire too. Hmm. This Reknot is looking for my base, but I think it went to look for my base here. Where I shot this one down. Because that's what they do, they kind of... Uh, where I intercept, they, uh, they try to look for my base, but because I flew all the way in there, they had no idea where I was. Okay, now that that looks like yeah, it's leaving. Nope, not hammerhead. I'm on the two. We could do that mission as training. Smallest one. I think I will uh, I think I will pass on that as well. I'll just keep on shooting this down as we wait for the research. Where is this? There. I did not get notification, but she was live. Ah, oh. only oh, only seven hours late, but better late than never. There will be there will be more of the same tomorrow, same same time. So 9 a.m. GMT. Starting uh, starting again tomorrow. I'm waiting here if we could get the research done. Okay, that will, uh, let me see. Why? I was, I was thinking I had a I had a name in mind already, but when 
I, when I asked last time, I got a couple of couple of names, but let me see. Have I? No, there's Ragdets. You are dead. Okay. So I think you, I think you Ragdets died pretty quickly. So let's uh, let's name this one now. This one again. So that is um, Ragdets. The second. Super strong. Get the start there. A couple of new rookies there that we could take to a mission. Okay, let's see if the research is getting... Okay, research is coming coming up. I kind of wanted to get that. Ooh! Ooh, a medium one. We haven't had these. Okay, that might be a mission that I want to take when we shoot it down. So then that would be a mission where we start tomorrow, then maybe. Ooh, is there more of them? Is that the same? No, there's another one. Okay, they are they are planning something for sure. Two mediums. Resource raid. They're coming to Finland! No! Get, up, get away from Finland! If you got a resource raid, resource raid Sweden or Norway! I think they can't quite make it. Yeah. And the whole, whole, whole Nordic countries region looks super weird in, the, in there from the deep. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know. Like, is is this is this Denmark, Norway, Sweden? Like, where the heck is Finland? I, I don't know. I guess that it it is because it's a little bit of that uh, under underwater. Underwater region, but yes, that is almost seven hours today, one hour overtime. I I went overtime yesterday, so I'm actually feeling a little bit little bit fatigue, especially after that insanely long colony mission. So uh, it is time for me to call it a day. So uh, tomorrow will probably be very much preparation for the finale and uh, i will continue playing this until i finish the game so uh tomorrow same time then uh, thursday friday saturday sunday very likely again but uh continuing with this anyway and it's it's looking good we we had one one almost squad wipe then actual squad wipe and uh we bounced back we bounced back so that's good that is very good. Yes, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you, uh, thank you Beagle for the raid. Thank you for the sub slumber. Thank you Redact for the bits. Thanks Jekyll, new sub there. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks Yesa for, for the gift. Thank you Samsonsi for the sub. Mike for the tier 3 sub. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the follows there. We had a we had a good day. Since since many of you stayed, I don't think you minded that for our colony mission there. So uh, with that, I wish all of you a wonderful rest of the weekend. Hope to see you tomorrow on Sunday, same time. I said 9 a.m. GMT and continuing then on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. And uh, if you have missed any of this, this will eventually be on YouTube. And if you are watching there somewhere in the distant future, thanks for watching.